What is going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and welcome to kind of a different video that I wanted to put on the channel. It's kind of like a one-off series, but <clears throat> I really wanted to talk about Silvali in the Draft League format without doing the Draft League viability on it because that is coming up. So it was a lot of different mods, but I've been very sick and I kind of sort of, I had videos from like two weeks ago that I wanted to put up on the channel before that. So I'm really sorry, but <clears throat> they're still here. Don't worry. Anyway, um... Recently, I did a draft that you guys will be seeing a draft analysis on, and I drafted this monster, <coughs> um, and I don't even mean monster, I just think it's a monster, I think it's really, really cool as a Pokemon, but, and, I was telling people how I drafted it, and that I got every single type, and I saw comments like, why don't they just allow Arceus, that, what kind of stupid league would allow this, all of this other nonsense, and I'm just like, hold up. I need to make a video about this, so that way people that doubt anything, they can watch this, and they can see my opinion, they can build their own opinions off of it, and I think that this video will <coughs> be very useful to people that run their own leagues, people like Kyle, Joe, Jack, even even John to an extent, if he's looking into doing the tierings for the GBA, Frito, whoever, I kind of want to make this as like... Something for people to listen to and open up their minds to some, to something to, I don't want to say some facts because I'm not always right and I'm not perfect, but these are some really convincing points. So, Silvali is a very unique mod. If you don't know what it does, it can change its typing depending on the item that you give it, similar to Arceus, except the fact that Silvali does not have Arceus stats. It has 95 across the board. And a lot of people are debating on the best way to draft Arceus, uh, to draft <laughs> Arceus. The best way to draft Silvali. Now, a lot of people are saying that drafting one type is the best, or like draft it and then designate its type. Um, I personally think that's a terrible idea, because the the main reason is because everything that you would draft this Pokemon for its specific typing, there's a mod that does it better, and there's no need to draft this thing for just one typing. There's no need to. Um, if you don't believe me, some very <sighs> broad categories. I'm going to go over like five different typings. I'm going to give you guys a mod that can just do whatever this thing would want to do better. So let's say you want to make this thing a water type. If you want to make this thing like a bulky or offensive water type, why would you draft this thing when if you want a bulky water type, you can draft Milotic, Tapu Fini, Vaporeon, something that can actually support the team with recovery, with phasing, with anything cool like that. This thing does get roar, so it does get phasing. However, I don't know if you guys can even see that. It does get Roar, so it does get Facing, but it doesn't get Self-Recovery, so it's not a good bulky Water type. It does get Swords Dance, however, uh, with only base 95 attack, things like Garchomp, Lotties, really good Electric types, a lot of stuff will outspeed it and can nuke it, so there's really no need to. Why would you draft uh, Silvali Fire when you could draft something like Infernape, Darmanitan, Entei? So many really cool Fire types that can do whatever this thing wants to do, but better. This thing doesn't get any priority. Infernape and Entei both get priority to hit extremely hard. All of those mons are either the same speed or faster. Darmanitan is faster. However, with Fire, Darmanitan uh, can run Choice Scarf. Silvali Fire cannot. It, it's limited to being that base 95 speed every single time. If why would you draft this thing as a fairy type when you can get something like Gardevoir? And I'm talking regular Gardevoir, not even Mega. Regular Gardevoir. It's slower, but it can run Choice Scarf, Life Orb. It has a cooler move pool. It has Self Recovery, Will O Wisp. It has Cleric Rolls. It has so much that this thing can do. Where this thing, it can be offensive. It can be bulky and tank some hits, but you can't run Assault Vest. You can't run Leftovers. You have no recovery coming to you whatsoever unless you have another Wish Supporter. Can't draft this thing as a bulky psychic type. Granted, you can't take knockoffs because it won't knock off your memory. However, it's still going to take a lot of damage from it. You won't get any reliable recovery. It, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to draft this thing as one typing when something always does it better. When you draft it as one typing, as I said, you neuter its speed tier. Not only do you neuter its speed tier, you neuter its offensive capabilities. At 95 base speed, I know I just said that like, not giving it, it like giving it uh, a memory neuters it but it's still really really good i don't want to take that away from it but giving it an item instantly makes it so you can never run a banded silvali you can never run a banded psychic silvali or a banded uh 
steel Sovali with Iron Head to destroy fairies. You can never run a Specs Flash Cannon Steel Sovali. You can't, you can't use it the way you want to. It's cut and dry, one thing, and so much does it better. Um... Whenever you give an item, you take away leftovers recovery, you take away assault best capabilities, you take away berry capabilities, and that's another huge one. This thing isn't going to be able to check things with berries that I like to use them for, and that many people have enjoyed using them for. Like, simple stuff like that, being able to run berries. Like, I ran a, um... Oh, shit, what was it? It was the Psychic Berry on my Amoongus... In PPL D1 Season 3, I ran on my Amoongus to live a Mega Gardevoir Psychic and hit it with a Sludge Bomb. I can't do that with Sovali as a bulky type. Like, I can't do it, and it limits so much, and that just sucks. I would never draft it because of it. But if I'm able to draft every single typing, I can choose that week and make my opponent think before we go into games. And that's what's important. Whenever you look at Z moves on top of everything else... If you draft a specific typing, this thing can't run any Z-moves, because it's already holding a memory. And this thing has access to one of the best, in my opinion, Z-moves in the game, and that is Z-Parting Shot. It gives the drops, whenever you switch out, Amon comes back in and gains all of its health back, so... If I'm, like, really low on my setup sweeper, all I have to do is Z-Parting Shot, I get the drops, bring it in, and I can setup sweep again. Like, if I'm paired up with a Mega Pinsir, like, this thing is so cool because of that. Whenever you draft, whenever you give this thing an item, you take away that ability to even do stuff like uh, the Draco Meteor. Like, you can go for the Devastating Drake, not get the drops, and then drop another Draco and possibly to a KO something. Like, it limits it so much by giving it just one typing. And to say that it's broken because you can just change it up from game to game doesn't make it broken. Because in team composition... Whenever you look at the fact that running duplicate typings almost or rarely ever happens. Let's go ahead and take a look at the team that I drafted. You guys will see the, the draft analysis on, I promise. But this is the team right here. Why would I want to bring Silvali Fairy whenever I could bring my Magirna, Tapu Fini, or Rybombi? I wouldn't want to bring Psychic type, I wouldn't want to bring Water type, Electric, Fire, Fighting, Grass, Dragon, Ground, like, I wouldn't want to duplicate on that typing because it makes my team too weak to one thing. However, forcing, so, like, say one week, I don't bring Infernape or Zygarde, they're instantly going to have to try to guess what typing Silvali is because I'm taking away two big threats. That's where the usefulness of this thing comes in. But then I send it in, and then it's the normal type, and I'm choice banded with explosion. Boom. Like, that's where the... <laughs> Boom. <laughs> explosion. Get it. Oh, Jesus, I'm funny. But that's where the surprise factor of this mon comes in, and I think it's being... I think it's being blown out of proportion how useful this thing can be. As you can see, I made it my Z-mon. Because I can run Parting Shot. I can run... I can run all of these awesome dragon type, devastating drake, flamethrowers, flash cannon. I can run all of these really, really cool Z moves with it. Help take out a threat. Doesn't make this thing broken. And then whenever you see normal type come in, and you know that it's weak to fighting, has no other weaknesses. This thing is also. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I need to get a drink. I'm dying. I'm so sick. This thing also suffers from some really, I don't know what the word I want to use is. I don't want to say prominent weakness to hazards because everything is weak to hazards, quote unquote. Like if you hazard stack up enough, every team is weak to it, but this thing is really weak to it. Especially if you only have one type. Can't run leftovers, can't heal it back up. Uh, if you're not running the poison type, then all of a sudden this thing is poisoned and it it just it makes it so much weaker and if you guys are thinking about running just one typing i'm gonna strongly suggest you guys don't do it whoever's watching this video if you're in a league to where they allow just one savali typing per team don't draft it it's unnecessary like yes 
you get some really cool coverage with like flamethrower, flash cannon, ice beam, thunderbolt, things like that, but you can draft Nidoqueen, and it does a lot of this, only better because it can be bulky, it can set up hazards, it can run berries, things like that. You can draft Nidoking if you want to be the offensive one. If you want to get a really good, fast offensive mon, get the get one of the Lottie twins. Like, get uh, Infernape, get, get like, just going down the line. Uh, we, we're, we're trying out new things, so that's why he has, like, Mega Kangaskhan, so just ignore that. But, like, get Stormy, uh, get Porygon Z. You can get, uh, like, Weavile to be offensive, Tapu Lele, Tapu Bulu, like, look, Greninja, regular Greninja, Mew, like, there's so much that you can get that just does everything better that it's useless to draft just one mon of it. And if you guys are in a league like that, just don't draft it, it's not worth your time. If you guys are in a league where they allow every single type, I strongly suggest you draft it. I got it at a steal at fourth round, uh, but... That's just my opinions on it. I kind of sort of rambled on a lot longer than I wanted to with this, uh, but you guys kind of sort of get the point. It It's only good if you can allow every single typing. Otherwise, it's hindered way too much, and it's just crippled, and there's no need to draft it. So I figured I would just shed my opinions on stuff for you guys, since you guys seem to like my opinions, and you guys seem to like the way I think about things. Uh, but... That's my opinions on Savali. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below before you go. Also, go down to the comments and leave a comment letting me know what you guys think of it. And if you are in a league, tell me the rules that your league allows. I'm just curious as to what most people are thinking. I'm also in the boat that I'm thinking like, hey, it's the first draft league I've been in. Why not allow it? See if it's borked. If it's borked, get rid of it next season. You know, you got to try some stuff out. Kind of sort of the way uh, uh, Smogon goes through like... Like, at this point in time, we just came out with the UU Alpha. <laughs> Not even the Beta, so... You kind of gotta try some stuff out before you make the decision whether something is broken or not, so... Anyway, but make sure you guys leave me that comment and let me know, but I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.